sneak peek of the sharpening process. It's on this plane here. I've set it to 18.15 degrees. Um, the 0.15 will take off when I do the final stones, so it'll be 18. For the rough work, 18.15. It's a 140 grit um, diamond bar, a timer one there. And the noise isn't very pleasant, but go across. And slowly, without applying too much pressure, using the Force of the stones, or the weight of the stones, really. Just slowly regrind the blade. Normally, you wouldn't, once it was already sharp, go to 140, but I decided to go through the whole lot and completely reset them all after my vine chopping. Um, and then we'll have a chat about which one works best and the edges and stuff. So, 140 grit. And then later on I'll do 400 grit, 600 grit, 1200 grit, 9 micron, 6 micron, 3 micron, finish with 1 micron, at which point this rough finish will be a mirror um, polish. So essentially you just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until you can feel a burr it's starting to occur there. You'll notice, if I'm careful, can you see that? The, the black, that's, that's the um, metal slowly coming off. So it does work, it works slowly. When I flip to the other side, which I will do just by doing that, you can already see I've put a marquee on there, um, Sharpie, magic marker, whatever you want to call it. A black mark across there and that will tell me if I'm hitting the angle. Uh, it's not so important because I've set the angle at 18 and they're both the same. I just want to see how much metal I'm moving, removing basically. So, like I said, there's a burr all the way along to about there. So, once you've hit that burr, you just keep working until the burr is all the way through. And then you flip it over and do the other. The, the first two sharpening on 140 so either side are the worst because you're essentially resetting whatever angle the maker had set or whatever angle the customer had on the blade to something which is <laughs> more usable uh, starting to, yeah. um, but after that it goes fairly quickly there's the first two that takes the most amount of time in which you have to do the most amount of work and do properly. After that, it's just following the angle you've already set with finer and finer grinds, removing the rough marks you've left and doing finer and finer marks until you've got yourself a decent um, mirror polish. I've done uh, all the other blades already. Um, well, I've done three of the blades already. Um, so you should be able to see on this one, hopefully, the, um, the mirror polish, which is there. So that's what we're aiming for. And then we'll have a chat about them all. Yeah, cool.